Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Well, we are at the eve of the Detroit Motor Show. Tons of cool stuff are going to be showing off at that show. Just hours away, at least from the taping of this program, one of those vehicles that's going to be making its official debut is the coupe version of the Cadillac ATS. Now, it's long been rumored we're going to get a coupe version, also possibly a wagon version or an estate version, and possibly the coupe version may get a convertible version heading down the line, but we'll have official details, hopefully. If Cadillac does debut this at the Detroit Motor Show, we'll have some more official details coming up in the next couple of programs. Next up on the list, another vehicle that's going to be making its official debut at the Detroit Motor Show is going to be, well, not this particular model, but if you look up a model, at least on the old interweb, you'll see tons of photos of this supposed vehicle pounding around doing testing, seeing various Challenger uh, vehicles with nose, the nose being protected by, you know, doing some uh, camouflaging, if you will, to try to keep you from being able to see what's going on underneath the hood, and that's what it's all about. This is the Challenger Hellcat. The Hellcat's going to be making its official debut at the Detroit Motor Show, at least the rumor has it. Now, what is the Hellcat that is, and why are they covering up the nose on the automobile? The rest of the vehicle is pretty much unchanged, unless there is a whole new body style coming out in the Detroit Motor Show, but they're only doing some field testing in the old body style. Well, it still has, from the SRT group, the 6.2 liter Hemi engine, but it gets a little help from some forced induction. It's going to be supercharged. Hearing rumors floating about that this thing's going to have 650 to well north of 650 brake horsepower. The most powerful Challenger ever built. And I'm talking about it being shifted through a 6-speed manual transmission or the 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox. Now, from the stuff that I have heard, the 8-speed actually couldn't handle this kind of horsepower. Couldn't handle much north of 450 brake horsepower, which has got me wondering if maybe the old 5-speed automatic might be in the range, unless they've got that prepared. Now, that being said, be anxiously awaiting this Detroit Motor Show to see if this vehicle does make its debut. If it does, we'll show you some more official details, and hopefully have some official pictures to boot. Next up on the list, well, another rumored vehicle, another leaked photos. This is supposedly the brand new Z06 from Chevrolet, the brand new Stingray Z06. This is their hardcore track version. And right off the bat, you can see a big front plate as far as for downforce, side sills, a lot of aero stuff going on. Still haven't heard anything official, or at least anybody releasing anything official, as far as what the power plant's going to be all about. But even looking at the back of this particular automobile, look at that massive rear wing on this. Probably the biggest wing ever put on a Chevrolet Corvette ever. One thing is that we're hearing rumors, too, that this vehicle was put through the General Motors wind tunnel, and it laid down bigger downforce numbers. And when I talk about downforce, you're talking about the at speed, the amount that the air actually going over the automobile presses the car into the pavement. We're hearing rumors that the amount of downforce this car puts out is the highest of anything that's been in General Motors wind tunnel ever. And they've tested full-blown race cars in that tunnel. So this thing got to be pretty doggone interesting. Also hearing rumors that if you have a ZR1, don't ever go head-to-head -head with one of these because no matter what shape or form, whether straight line or through the twisties, this new Stingray Z06 will annihilate the brand new ZR1, or the older outgoing ZR1, which has got us really excited to see what the new ZR1 is going to have if it ever does come out. Next up on the list, Audi's got a couple of vehicles going to be shown off at the Detroit Motor Show. Don't really talk about concepts, but too much on this program, but this is the Audi all-terrain concept. The thing is about this vehicle, it looks pretty doggone production ready, so this may be a sneak peek into the future of what a next crossover from the folks over at Audi may look like, so pay attention to that if you will, and you can pick up some little 
key components that may make it on the future Audi vehicles as well. One vehicle that will be making its debut, its official U.S. debut, is a vehicle that's been sold around the world for quite some time. It's the Q3. Finally going to get the Q3 on U.S. shores. Now, the Q3 will be powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine putting out 200 brake horsepower. That'll be shifted through a 6-speed automatic transmission and shifted through the front wheels. But, of course, this being Audi means that there will be a Quattro variant, which means it will be all-wheel drive as well. We're hoping to have official pricing details hopefully coming out very, very soon for the all-new Q3. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this week's Motor Cars Enthusiast. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. You can also go down to the Facebook page and get the link where you can watch the brand new reveal of that brand new Z06 we got the link over there on the on the Facebook page. You can check it out live and in, well, kind of in person over the interwebs. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. You get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.